So what's happening, y'all? I uh, wanted to talk to y'all. I'm on a set of Saints and Sinners Center, right now, playing Pastor Green. Um, I, I wanted to talk really quickly about, um, you know, the taglines that people have been using and connecting to my name. Uh, as far as David Banner says that Trump is the best thing that happened to black people. Um, first of all, I said that may, it may be, but the thing is this, people keep asking me how I feel about that, you know, because they feel like the media is trying, or some people in the media are trying to make me look bad. But we know what the fuck they do. And hold on, let me tell y'all this too, about me cursing. Grown ass man. We have real situations and we have to start talking at, talking to our people and meeting our people where they are. So this is how I talk, like regardless. So if you can't take it, then the message is not for you. This is for the everyday average person, not the people who are all already conscious. So if the way that I talk offends you, then it's cool. You know, so many people say you would go so much further if you didn't curse so much. Well, I don't want to go further. I want to go right here where my people are right now. And then when my people start moving, I'll start moving. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Um, we know how the media is. And so if, if, if people want to leave me and desert me because of a tagline that the media uses, then they're not for me. Then they, they, they shouldn't be a part of what I do. If maybe, maybe I haven't done good enough in the past to show people that well that doesn't sound like David Banner let me go research it and before you go off and start tweeting and talking about it and you haven't read the story or you haven't looked at the Facebook post that's ignorance so I don't worry about those people you know the thing that does hurt me is that most of this shit comes from from um from so-called black publications and black channels and you know I found out because I called up to hot 97 and it's like, yo, y'all my people. Like, what, what, what the hell is this? Y'all know me. And then they were like, well, we get our stories from New York. Well, that's part of the problem. If we're going to blindly, you know, get taglines from other places and just run them without even caring about, you know, the people who we say that we love and that we trust or that, that we think are leaders, is that what we're going to do? We can't even get to fighting the real war for our own fucking people. Like that tagline actually came from a small black publication. And I'm like, come on, y'all. Like, come on, y'all, you clickbait. It's time for us to grow up. And we talk about the rappers and we talk about reality TV shows, all of y'all, radio stations, fucking, fucking black publications. All of us need to grow the hell up. Not just the rappers, not just the actors, everybody in our community. But this is what I'll say. It's okay right now. But there's going to come a time when we're going to have to start calling y'all out. Or coming to see y'all. Literally. Knocking on your door. Because some of these places are not black people in the first place. But again, since we don't research, we don't even know where we're getting our information from. Come on, y'all. This, this shit is so fucking childish, y'all. But I'm happy. Because I told y'all that Trump may be the best thing that happened to black people. And I'm going to prove my point. Again, I said this yesterday. If Hillary would have won, black people would have been somewhere shaking their asses. But the fact that Trump won, people are on their shit. People are on point. People are, are, are protesting and standing up and reading and ready to go. So you tell me. If what I said isn't true. Huh? Go pre-order the God box, damn it. <laughs> I cursed again. I love y'all. And um, I, I like to thank everybody from all of the small towns who have been hitting me up and thanking me for starting to post on Facebook. Um, you know, a lot of a lot, a lot of the homies from the small towns said, like, you know, they don't have Twitter and Facebook. I mean, they don't have Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and stuff that they really they're really on um, Facebook and um, I appreciate it. Y'all are the reason why um, I'm going to start posting on Facebook Live a little bit more. Um, I love y'all and I appreciate it. And um, you know, well, uh, Miss Sally, white people may be real too, but black people are affected. 
Like we we die because y'all real. You know, white people are not really affected for the most part um, when black folks are freaking out. You feel what I'm saying? So I I understand that, but I, I have to deal with my community. That's part of the problem. Black folks try to deal with everybody else's community when we haven't taken care of our own home. That's that's the whole point of everything that I'm saying. So I get that, you know, but I think that's your responsibility to handle your community. And uh, I'm just trying to get our people right. Okay, y'all see I'm on set, I'm shooting. <laughs> I love y'all and uh, I thank you, okay? Blessings.